Many places now experiencing their hottest day of the year. Let's take a live look outside right now. It's been a beautiful afternoon, if you don't mind the heat. First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan is tracking those temperatures. And Paul, I guess it depends where you are in the Bay Area, but you might experience triple digits. Right. We've got such a wide variety of temperatures mm. out there right now. It's just one of those Bay Area days where we've got cool on the coast and hot temperatures inland. And this is what we're going to see into the holiday weekend as well. Let's take a look at those current temperatures right now. Anywhere from 57 degrees at Half Moon Bay to 45 degrees hotter than that in Fairfield at 102 degrees, 98 right now in Concord and Livermore. This is the first real day of that inland heat, although temperatures in the North Bay and Santa Clara Valley, not that hot, mostly in the 80s. It's only 60s in San Francisco and Oakland. We're going to see a similar contrast as we head into tomorrow, even though those inland temperatures are going to be hotter. We're under a heat advisory for all inland parts of the Bay Area through 11 p.m. on Sunday. The hottest day is going to be tomorrow. That's when temperatures far inland in the East Bay and far north are going to be reaching up to around 105 degrees. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Find some air conditioning whenever you can. And we're not the only ones dealing with this. Look at how widespread this heat wave is. Much of California into Nevada and down into Arizona. And this is something that has the fingerprints of climate change on it. We can categorize that with an index that Climate Central came up with called the Climate Shift Index. Basically, it categorizes how much more likely an extreme weather event is. We're in the orange shading around the Bay Area, which co uh, corresponds to a two on that Climate Shift Index, meaning this type of extreme heat at this time of year is twice as likely under the influence of climate change. And that darker maroon, though, through the Central Valley, that's a five, which means it is five times more likely to have this type of heat on a more regular basis thanks to the influence of climate change. We'll get into specifics, the high temperatures we expect tomorrow. You can see those scrolling at the bottom of the screen as well coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Paul. Well, it's been a while since we've experienced these hot temperatures in the Bay Area. Fire officials now warning of another potential dangers as this warm-up may, may bring. Jose Martinez joins us now with tips on how to protect yourself from heat illness. Jose. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm here at the Hurricane Harbor Water Park in Concord. You can see everyone trying to fight against this heat wave. You can see all the kids here having a great time. They decided to take a break from this, but other people actually made a different decision. They decided to go hiking. Now, we spoke with some local authorities who say, you got to be careful out there because it's very hot. The parking lot at Lion Bridge Trailhead in Concord sits empty on this scorching Friday morning. However, we managed to find an adventurous couple willing to break the heat for a good reason. Uh, we had someone else watching our other kids, and so it was a chance to get away and go on a little hike. <laughs> We've been wanting to go on a walk or a hike, but we got four other ones at home, so it's hard to get out. We met up with Dustin, Mariah, and their little one who decided to seize the opportunity and go hiking despite temperatures reaching a sweltering 100 degrees, so they were... Sweaty, sweaty and hot. Yeah, <laughs> ready to get in the air conditioning. <laughs> While anticipation of the weather is not uncommon in the Bay Area, experts emphasize the importance of taking precautions during such extreme weather conditions. This is a good time for them to think about how they're going to stay cool, how they're going to stay hydrated, uh, and how they're going to be looking out for pets, children, the elderly, their neighbors, that kind of thing, who might be in heat. Steve Hill, a Contra Costa Fire Department representative, says if you plan to go out, you should protect yourself from heat illness. Well, heat illness is a serious condition. It can uh, uh, be heat stroke, uh, for example, which is the, uh, the worst case. Uh, but it is a medical emergency. Uh, some of the symptoms are profuse sweating. Unfortunately, sometimes no sweating at all. Slightly elevated body temperature, muscle aches, nausea. Um, fatigue, extreme fatigue, uh, sometimes in, in extreme cases, uh, fainting. As the heat wave continues in the Bay Area, residents are encouraged to stay indoors. Exactly what this couple plans to do. Uh, go relax in a cool house. Got to go work and get some stuff done before the kids come home. There you go. And everyone here is having a great time, like I said, trying to fight this heat wave right now it's like 93 degrees here in Concord 
and I'm going to try to enjoy a little bit of this water. We'll see you right back at 6 o'clock. Back to you guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jose. Have fun out there. And fire crews will be on alert throughout the weekend. A grass fire flared up this afternoon in Sonoma County. This happening near San Antonio Road and D Street. Here's a look from above the scene from our chopper about a half hour ago. Look at all that charred area right there. A fire spread to at least 20 acres. Fire crews have stopped forward progress. At one point, we saw a line of firefighters protecting a home that had been threatened but the fire, uh, by that fire. But the good news here, that fire is mostly surrounded and contained.